All right, this brief video will look at installing or talking about the oil pressure or the oil pressure relief adjustment. So on the engine, here's the back of the engine, here's the front. Towards the back on the light combing, there's a housing here and that is your oil pressure relief device so there might there's two versions there's a fixed one which we can adjust internally and there's one that we can adjust externally the internally adjustable one looks like this housing there's a big giant ball spring some washers in the housing <clears throat> if it's an adjustable type external wise it, it looks similar but on the end there's this wrenchable adjustment so what we're going to talk about on the 0540, uh, the one that comes from the factory, there's no outside adjustment. You would have to change the adjustment by adding washers on the inside. So the way the, press, the pressure relief works <clears throat> is w we look inside that cavity, this hole, that hole in the center, that is oil that's fed in from the oil pump, the oil filtration, and then it goes into the galley. The pressure inside the engine is a function of how much oil we allow to go from this port back to this other port, which drains into the sump. So if we want a lot of oil to flow between here, that center hole and to the back, back to the sump, we're gonna make the spring pressure inside of the oil relief very light. So it's very easy for oil pressure to offseat that ball and then backfeed it down to the sump. So if we want to lower the oil pressure, so let's say we're running and normally our pressure's 50 pounds and we want it to run at say 25 pounds, we're going to want to cause this valve to relieve more oil flow from this hole to that hole down to the sump. So what that translates to on the, the relief valve is we've got a spring assembly, this ball which covers that center hole, and then the center hole the pressure on the ball lifts the, the ball, compressing the spring, allowing oil to go from the galley down to the sump. So on the adjustable one, we turn the screw and it changes the tension on this spring, which changes the oil pressure. So if we wanna make oil pressure lower, we're gonna make it really easy for this ball to push the spring. So we gotta weaken the tension, or on this type of device, we would have to take out these shim washers, which go down, go down in that housing. So if we want to raise, raise the oil pressure, we're going to make it harder for this ball to compress the spring off seat and oil pressure. So on this one, if we want to make it raise the oil pressure, we're going to add more shims on this side of the spring. So it's harder for this ball to push against that spring to off seat, allowing oil to return to the sump. If we want to lower oil pressure, we're going to make it weaker. We're going to take out shims. So when you first set up the engine, it's sort of an arbitrary setting. We put the, the relief valve in, we run the engine, we see what oil pressure is, then we change this to move the oil pressure up or down. Now during the normal life of the engine, we don't want to change this just without troubleshooting. You know, if the oil pressure changes on the engine for whatever reason, we want to investigate why the oil pressure changes before we make a change here. So if we want to raise oil, once again, a review, if we want to raise oil pressure on the engine, we got to add shims behind the spring to make it harder for this ball to compress that spring. If we want to lower oil pressure, we're going to take shims out, make this ball easy to com compress the spring. <clears throat> so that goes in here. The ball, the ball sits normally on this. Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer. Sits on this opening here and then this relieves from the oil galley down to this hole which goes down to the sump um, occasionally if you have an oil pressure problem like for example um, your oil pressure wildly changes with rpm so it increases and decreases with rpm changes uh, you can almost use the oil pressure as a tack uh, oftentimes what happens with this not often but occasionally Contaminants could get trapped under the between this seat and the ball Causing this to stay open a lot. So then your your pressures um, change based on basically on engine rpm um, But that's the oil pressure relief valve There's two types 
There's this type where it's changeable by sticking shims in behind this in the housing and then compressing this. Or there's um, the adjustable type on that other engine where we could just use the wrench to change you all sides. So that's the oil pressure relief. We're gonna install that housing now on the ball and the check valve to this and we'll torque that to 300 inch pounds. With the engine on its side, it can be a little bit challenging to get this assembly up in the hole. So what I do with this is I take, make sure your ball, the ball is clean of any debris or potential contaminants. I place the ball in the hole. Then you can take the spring. You can kind of guide that, the spring up to the ball and then use the, the spring to push the ball up into place. And then you can compress the spring a little bit and get a couple turns on the housing. We got a fresh crust gasket on here. Tighten that up and then this is a one inch fitting and it gets torqued to 300 inch pounds per the manual specs. You may need an extension. And then we'll just safety that and then the pressure relief will be installed.